25 years, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. You know, we're trying to make farmers, get farmers to make a start. We've um, actually been part of this property since uh, 95. And we uh, engaged with the regional council back then, a fellow called Laurie Donald. And Laurie came and looked at the farm and he said, um, do you realise that you've bought a farm that contributes um, the biggest sediment load to the Taranga Moana through the Tamania stream? And we were unaware of that. But when I, once I understood that this was the worst catchment we've had in terms of sediment loss um, and the impact that was having on our fish species, particularly the pororo fish, um, I thought, hell, we, we need to do something about this. Uh, we set about doing a, a farm plan with lorries through the regional council. Our first thing was to get the stock out of the streams because everything was fenced to the streams. Um, we needed reticulated water, we needed to redesign all the fencing. Um, and that had a massive impact on water quality in ter terms of improving it. Here on Pukakodi Farm um, is an amazing example of um, quite a long relationship with the Bay Plenty Regional Council. So the Tamania catchment, as you can see, flows out to the Tauranga Moana. Um, it's about 4,000 hectares, and this is one of our focus catchments for the Bay Plenty Regional Council. We had a great leg up from the Regional Council in terms of going, doing the farm uh, plan, understanding where the high priority is, uh, parts on the farm we needed to protect, and getting, getting started. And um, getting a significant subsidy to, to do that was really important. We have been really focused on um, former wetlands and, and restoring them. With, with putting in these wetlands, we've got about sort of six to eight wetlands, you could say, we've put in since that time. The water flows, I think, Rick, when, when you took over the farm, um, the water quality at the bottom of the farm was like a... Oh, it was about two out of 10. Yeah, and now it's, it's a nine out of 10. The big benefits, I think, um, you see from this is not just for fresh water. We see biodiversity um, in terms of bird, bird life improving. We've seen Kururu and Piwaka Waka returning into areas and Tui, which we never used to see in the, um, in the early 90s. Uh, which is which is which is really massive, and I think that's very powerful. 